Special Inside Business Africa said Nigeria 60 super brands in focus as we speak with some of the CEOs and representatives of companies that made the list. Muka Foam Limited, Agritech, Prestige Assurance PLC, Image Links and many more. Special Q&A on agribusiness with the Managing Director and Chief Executive and the General Manager of Eve Green Investments and Industries Limited. They are speaking on the company's offerings. Plus, the award-winning Inspire Facility Management Ventures Limited is in focus as we take on the facility management sector of the nation's economy. This is Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Hello, a very good day to you and thanks for joining us. My name is Kenneth Odushola Stevenson and this is Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Despite the challenges of the time, especially with uh, the COVID-19 and also the entrance that just ended and also some of the many challenges that are globally that are ravaging many countries of the world, some companies are still positioning themselves for effective delivery of products and services and we call them the 60 super brands in nigeria and recently inside business africa put together this important survey in association with our partners to bring together 60 in celebration of nigeria's 60th independent anniversary and some of the companies were able to expose themselves we talk about all that when we come back right after this commercial break Welcome back. You're still Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Thanks for staying with us. Inside Business itself is a brand. For over 25 years, this brand has built reputation across the industries in Nigeria. Recently, in celebration of the Nigeria at 60, the brand went in collaboration with our partners to look at the brands that are making the difference in the Nigerian economy. And we came up with 60 of them. Over 100 of 1,000 were actually nominated, but we had to scale it down to 60 to be able to reward excellence that makes sense to everyone. Quite a number of organizations made the list, including the Muka Form Limited, that has been around even before independence in 1959, to be precise. And also, we also have the companies like Agritech that came in in the 90s and brought in a lot of innovation to the industry, especially the agribusiness. And we have Prestige Assurance PLC that his, the establishment of the firm in Nigeria predate the Nigeria's independence. All these companies made the list and they are still waxing strong. Inside Business Africa present this report and also some interviews with some of the CEOs and representatives of some of the firms in this report. Beyond the headlines of the global COVID-19 pandemic that has disrupted businesses and lives at an alarming rate lies the stories of over five dozen top Nigerian brands that have managed to increase their brand valuation since 2019 amidst difficult circumstances. 2020 has been an unprecedented year for Nigeria. From the start of this decade, it was clear that there will be growing pain as Nigerians settled into the role as one of the world's largest growing economies. The COVID-19 pandemic has since thrown Nigeria's existing challenges into sharp relief while testing the communities and institutions like never before. This is not the kind of moment that yields silver lining, only difficult adjustment and hard-won breakthroughs. What has been evident since the early days of 2020, however, is the resilient spirit of Nigerian people and the businesses. This year, the combined value of super brand top 60 Nigerian brands declined by 4%. Beyond these headlines, however, the stories of nearly three dozen Nigerian brands that have managed to increase their brand valuation since 2019 are increasing. It's also important to note as uh, Nigeria turns 60, it's also uh, Muka's uh, 60th anniversary. Uh, so Muka as, Muka as a company has been uh, in existence as, uh, as long as uh, uh, Nigeria. So there's a, there's a very happy coincidence there. Meanwhile, our brand report for the 60 super brand covers the almost the entire business segments from agriculture, banking, insurance, aviation, construction, FMCG, manufacturing to service sector, among others. 
in the agribusiness sector, Agritech, the mega poultry business conglomerate, topped the chart, followed by others including Olam. In the banking sector, First Bank captured the first headline of the event and also was named the top super brand in the segment. Then the manufacturing sector has some interesting brand as we focus on foam and bedding sector with Mocha Limited making the makers of brands of foams and beddings which started operation in Nigeria in 1959 topping the brands of the year's list. The insurance sector presents special interest as the top brands run the hell to head with prestige assurance PLC topping the list. In the, the subsector that is technology, ImageLink West Africa Limited, the pioneer in the technology that touches millions of lives every day with ISO certified and strong product range comes tops in the services and supply chain sector. ImageLink West Africa is a firefighting company. That means we supply and also install firefighting equipment. So, but ImageLink West Africa is more than firefighting alone because we are all about safety generally. And what did I mean by safety? We supply and install equipment that gives protection to lives and property in case of fire, in case of security aspects, and also in the area of food. We also pro provide uh, met metal detectors as in machines that detect metal in food processing. Yes. So, but when we're talking about firefighting, majorly people think about portable fire extinguisher alone. No. But I thank God that we have companies that are really aware of the protection we're talking about because we have automatic suppression system that will detect the fire and also suppress it. Then we have guidance system as well too in case of fire protection. Images West Africa we've been in existence for the past 10 years. So we've been able to actually impact. And I, like I said, thank God for improvements in the technology that we have nowadays that is actually bringing the, the main vision of the complaint into the limelight of most Charlie complaints and even individuals by knowing that one needs to guide against a fire outbreak because when it occurs, it's, what it actually takes is more than what will be required to prevent it. All right, so like I said, we've been in the system for the past 10 years. We've been able to, to provide safety to properties and people in the country. So we've been able to deploy our equipment to our organizations. We have partners, our foreign partners. We have notable customers that have installed our protect, I mean our equipment too, and they're using it right now to provide protection equipment to them and also their property. Yes, and um, when we talk about people that actually support the mission of the company, our vision is to provide protection, to make sure that everybody, property, human being are in the same ends. All right, Nigeria at 60, we've gone, at least the independence, we've, we're not, we're, at least we are getting to 60 years old and we're talking about a 60 year old person is a matured person. So which I believe we should be more matured in everything. What did I mean in our economy? We need an improvement. We need to get to a, a point that our country will be tagged as a developed country. Congratulations to all the brands that made the list of the Inside Business Africa 60 brand 2020. It's a brand. It's, a, it's, a, it's an event now that will continue to hold every year. We'll continue increasing by one as we move on. And what is important is that these organizations that were nominated and also confirmed actually are giving their best to the industries where they represent, despite the challenges of the time. When we come back right after this commercial break, we'll talk about another sector, which is a, a very important sector and key to the nation's economy, agribusiness, an organization that is doing exceedingly well in this industry. We'll be talking about their offerings right after this commercial break. We have an optimistic image, a picture for our country. We believe that our better years are ahead of us and that if we do the right things today, in the not too distant future, Nigeria will take its pride of place among the leading nations in the world. What we'll be doing in Makodi, we, we already have a magazine, special edition that is going to be launched. We are also going to um, use the opportunity to, to felicitate amongst ourselves. Because of a new normal, our AGM this year will be happening simultaneously 
while the main focus is on Makodi, but we also have our chapters hooking in as a group, not as individuals from their homes. Okay. At each level, the state chapter, just like the way they have their own AGMs within their states, will hook in as a group. There will be celebration, there will be participation, there will be exchange of knowledge and pleasantries. And it will form part of the process because we have a sort of a special committee of recognitions and awards and uh, that will all feature culminating the February thing I told you about. And they, they, will, they, will, they are going to work from the state chapters and they all come up and the national committee will coordinate and make those selections and those uh, Mm. Uh, recommendations for council to approve welcome back you're still inside business africa africa's business news and information leader thanks for staying with us if green industries and investments limited is a top player in the agribusiness in nigeria they brought innovation to the farm business and also they are doing exceedingly well and it has been rewarded with also a very important award what is called Agribusiness Award by Nato Farm David Consulting. And this particular organization has been talking to Inside Business about their offerings and some of the innovations they have brought into the agribusiness in Nigeria. Take a listen. I appreciate uh, Nata Foundation you know, for this award, one. Then for our clients and numerous customers, even our host community, we appreciate all. They are the reason why we have this award. As mean there is chaos in the community, uh, maybe we won't have this award. <laughs> so we appreciate everybody. Our product that is selling very well now in the market is we call it Garivita and otherwise fufu flour made from cassava as a 100% uh, but a kind of variety of cassava that we use to produce that fantastic food that I recommend for everybody Garivita is called and agribusiness is not computer it's not something you do on uh, on if you want to get in, though there are places you can play anyway, there are a lot of places you can play in this space. You could play in the packaging space, you could play in the production space where you are doing the farming one. People can be farming for you fine, you know, but whatever area you want to play, learn it. There is a lot of value chain in it. There's a lot of value chain in agribusiness. But whichever one you want to play, learn that stage and know it well before you now borrow government money or borrow bank money or bring us security that a bank will begin to begin to draw your security with bank tomorrow. <laughs> we didn't borrow from anybody, not until we go to a stage when we know that when we borrow from bank, we can pay back. No. We needed to try it with our own form. We failed severally. So you must fail. Not to talk of in Nigerian uh, business system, there is a lot of uncertainties coupled with agribusiness uncertainty. You, you program yourself. Somebody narrated in an LBS that is called a wicked space. Agribusiness is a wicked space. I don't believe that anywhere, but that is some people's narration. You know, so you must learn the wicked space to play in it because some people are starting making profit out of the so-called wicked space. And we are designed to make profit anyway out of the wicked space, but it took us time. It took us a lot of energy. It took us a lot of efforts. It took a lot of patience, perseverance, and God anyway. Because without God, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a place of favor, there's a place of God, and whatever we do, you walk and pray. Our production capacity grew from um, from one ton per day processing to almost 20, day, 20 tons per day processing. 
you don't start from 20 tons per day processing as a starter now you won't do you won't do well you've been curing losses and it's better you start from the back end we had a vision very mighty vision of processing cassava into starch and flour for industrial use for Nestle, the likes of Nestle, like big, big companies to do. But we started with Gary. Mm, yes. We like to learn how to process Gary before you learn how to process starch. We appreciate all our clients, you know, we appreciate our customers, our smallholder farmers, our hard growers, skin. Even our host community, we appreciate all. So we appreciate everybody, you know, that's been partner. Even our vend all our vendors, we appreciate all. Especially the staff of Ukraine, those in the farm, those in the agri sector, those in the processing sector, those in the marketing departments, in the production area, in the admin. We appreciate all especially our GMD. We appreciate all. We kicked off 2016. We kicked off 2016 March, to be precise. Yeah, but we started um, the farm. Actually, wanted to go into uh, um, one one of the side of the business is uh, want to go into industrial starch. So, in order for sustainability, we need raw material. So, we had to start with the farm. Our FMCG products. We have the odorless fufu. Then our premium product is uh, Gary Vita. It's been interesting, at the same time challenging. You know, but um, we look at the end. We've been privileged to have good staff. You know, that makes things work. Because you can't do it alone. You need people. You know, when you have people, good people, you have good results. Our FMCG products, yes, like the Gary Vita, is very nice. It's vitamin A45. Very good. And we know what vitamin A does for the eye. It has fiber, which is very good for weight management. And it cuts, cuts across all age range. You can take it. It's gluten-free. Then our fufu, very nice. It's, uh, it's also an instant swallow. You don't need to pound. You know, just on fire for five minutes and your swallow is ready. Well, congratulations to Eve Green Industries and Investments Limited for winning that particular award. It's a very important award indeed, and we want to congratulate the management and the entire team at Eve Green Nigeria. And what is important is that this particular business, this particular sector, will remain a very key focus on Inside Business Africa, talking about the agribusiness sector. But when we come back, we go to another sector to listen to an organization that is powering the sector talking about the facility management sector of the nation's economy. Still with Inside Business, we'll be right back. It's still Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Thanks for staying with us. Indeed, it's been celebration galore on the program today. And uh, we will not be there leaving this program today without talking about a very important organization that is sparing the facility management tech sector. We're talking about Inspire Facility Management Ventures Limited. The GM has been speaking with Inside Business Africa, especially where they are operating, especially in the medical environment, where they ensure that precision 
is the watchword. Take a listen. It means to me to do more, to improve on our service delivery, to do a whole lot more. Improve on our service delivery, response time, and to continue to work as a team. Maybe I should even share my experience on that Tuesday with you. I was here as early as 6 a.m. because we had emergency. And you know it's hospital. It has to run. It has to work. By the time I got here, some of the staff that were supposed to resume couldn't get here. Most people didn't leave home as early as I did. Even at that, those that were able to, they still did. We had to work. So most of our staff that were on ground that day, I had to tell them not to go. So they had to stay here so that work can continue. We work as a team and that's an hedge. There is no ogre or anything. I, you, like I, I, I'm here, if I go into the hospital and I see a splash and the waste manager is attending to something, I can just pick up the mop and clean it up just to make sure I cover up for that. So we work as a team. So that's one thing that has worked for us. Then we have put together a formidable team of experts. We have our civil engineers. You met up one of the biomedical engineers today. We have our maintenance engineer, we have mechanical engineers, and they are young, upwardly mobile, and they are energetic. So that has been an edge. We do face a lot. Like, we need, okay, for example, you had me talking to one of um, our artisans. He is going to change the theater door, it's false. And we intend to fix it. He's building it as we speak. Is to fix it on Friday. And they are telling us at the theater now that we can't fix because they have um, surgeries lined up for that day. So we will we'll look for ways to. Yes, there are challenges here and there. Sometimes we need to change some things and they will tell you this patient is sleeping. You can't change. But with device means sometimes most of those people working for us have to sleep over so that they can actually install those things and you just wake up in the morning you come around and you say, wow this has changed it's where you have large bu big buildings that you have different professionals working in those people want to concentrate on their work process and how so the facility management are at the back working to make sure things go well the ACs are working, the light electricity supply is working, the mechanical furniture hall going well. Without, you know, as a professional, if you have to, okay, this AC is working, how do I fix it? You might not really be able to concentrate. It might affect your work process or your output at the end of the day. But when you have someone at the back that takes care of those things, then the work process can just go on well. Yeah, that's majorly the function of facility manager. My advice to them is they should work on service delivery. What you are employed or contracted to do, you must do it. So that we can say, okay, I've made my own impact. I've played my own role. We must make sure our response time is very good to these facilities because poor response time goes a long way in slowing things down. Let's say you have to use 24 hours before you could attend to a major fault in an establishment or a building that you have been contracted to manage. It's not good enough. You should have people on ground that will see to the smooth running of those things. What I would like to tell 
people out there is that um, they should not see um, government facilities as something that they could destroy. It is very, very disheartening if you look at what is happening around. People should look at these things as ours. If you look at it as ours, we will want to protect it. It is God. We are into cleaning here. We manage the facilities. Though, though we do have some challenges, but God has been taking control of some of the patients. Some of them are tough. In fact, she is the best I have ever worked with. My work as a biomedical engineer for Inspire Facility Management is to check on their medical equipment and make sure they are put into order and they are functioning, not just working but functioning and they are. So far so good, it's been good because I really enjoy working with them, that's just the fact. Because one, I've been able to achieve my aim as a biomedical engineer and I've been able to work on some equipment that on the normal ground during training I have not come across them and I've been able to work with them. So. Well, that's about all we have time for on Inside Business Africa for today. I want to thank you very much for being a part of the show. And I will believe in that we've been able to educate you, especially looking at the success story of those organizations that have been receiving awards over the years and also doing the very the nation proud despite the challenges of the time and winning award along the way. Prestige Assurance PS, Mocha Form Limited, Agritech, Inspire, If Green. These organizations, despite the challenges of COVID-19 and also the challenges of the time globally, they are still doing the nation proud and contributing to the nation's economy. We want to say a very big thank you to all of you for actually associating with Inside Business Africa. It's been Kenneth Odishola Stevenson presenting Inside Business Africa. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.